Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. One of the first videos I ever published well over one year ago was on the best e-bike conversion kits. And I think we're well overdue for an update on this topic, so let's hop on the bike and do it. Alright, so let me begin by giving you guys my credentials. E-bike rider for almost two years now. I've built two custom bikes, ridden many more. And I've used all the motor types there are out there. Direct drive hub motor, geared hub motor, and mid-drive motors. I have experience with it all. I've developed thoughts and opinions about it. And that's going to greatly influence the products that I'm going to be recommending here. And by the way, everything I talked about will be linked down below. Most of it you can get on Amazon. And today's video is made possible by Tannis. They make these things. Thick armor for your tires that help to fight against punctures and flat tires. So unfortunately, flat tires are a reality of having a bike. You guys see that? Nail in tire. And the way I see it, there's two main ways to help prevent flat tires. One is to buy thick and heavy motorcycle tires, but another option is these things from Tannis. A simple, very lightweight, foam tire insert that gives you 15 millimeters, it's over half an inch of puncture protection between the inner tube and whatever is on the outside. So if you're concerned about getting a flat tire, definitely check out Tannis and their products. I'll leave their website and their Amazon listing down below. So huge thanks to Tannis for sponsoring this video. So let's get right into this beginning with a direct drive hub motor. This is the approach I took with my very first e-bike build. I bought the NB Power 2000 watt 72 volt kit and I was very happy with it. That had a ton of power even on the low end which is something you don't expect with uh, a direct drive hub motor. And I really couldn't recommend it more especially for the price. We're only talking about 500 bucks. Again I'll leave an affiliate link down below. If you guys use my link it helps you support the channel. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this kit is the wiring and the controller. So the controller is pretty large. When I equipped it on my first bike build, uh, I just zip tied it onto the down tube and it kind of made the setup look janky just because the controller is so huge and it's pretty difficult to, to hide. Unfortunately, NB Power doesn't sell a version of this that's compatible with fat tire bikes. So if you want a, a comparable fat tire option, uh, E-Bikeling is the one I would go with. I've never used them before personally, but I've heard lots of great things about the company. And the controller and the wiring looks to actually be a little bit more advantageous than with the NB Power. Now, the next kind of hub motor is a geared hub, which is actually what I'm using right now. Let me stop, show you guys for anybody that might be new. This bike is rocking a simple... What was that? So this is a Bafang 750 watt geared hub. And of course I supercharged it with a 60 volt battery. And that conversion of supercharging a geared hub was made possible by a phase runner from Grin Technologies. Unfortunately, you cannot buy this off of Amazon. So I'll leave their website link down below. But if you already have a bike that has a regular Bafang hub motor, buying this controller, swapping it out, connecting a, a higher voltage battery could be another good approach. Now, before ever riding a geared hub, I had the impression that because of the gear ratio, this is a, a five to one reduction, that compared to a direct drive hub motor, a geared hub would have greater efficiency and a lot more low end torque, right? That was my assumption. I thought that's why a, a geared hub might be better than a direct drive. But what I found out from actually using the geared hub is that the motor itself in the geared hub is much smaller than a direct drive, much more powerful hub motor like the NB Power. So even with the gear reduction in place, the low end torque is roughly the same. Although the efficiency of this smaller geared hub should be more. Although to be completely honest, it's kind of difficult to quantify that. So with this experience in mind, my ultimate opinion here on direct drives versus geared hub motors is if you're gonna go through the effort of building out a bike, a direct drive that's more powerful is probably gonna be the better, more fun option. Even on the low end, if you're concerned about torque, 
uh, just through the raw power it can compensate for that. But if you already have one of the many bikes in the market that have a buffeting geared hub and you just want to squeeze a bit more power out of it, then you can do that with the phase runner from Grand Technologies, connect it with a, a higher voltage battery, exactly what I did here, and it does make for a, a very good bike. Okay, so that's hub motors out of the way. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of geared versus direct drive and when you might want to use each respective option. But the final category is mid drives. And these are quite different. So of course, mid drive motors take advantage of the drivetrain of your bike, aka the gears, the chain, to give you more low end torque. So if you're going to be climbing a lot of hills or just want a very torquey experience, mid drives are going to be better than hub motors in that application. But of course, the trade-off to accomplish that is the added complexity. A hub motor is just bolted into the, the frame of your bike. There's very few moving parts, maintenance is minimal, and due to that, hub motors just tend to be the much more reliable choice. So say if you're commuting, I'll probably go with the hub motor for that reason. But if you want a mid-drive e-bike conversion kit, there's essentially two. Again, you have Bafang. They're probably the leading name when it comes to aftermarket mid-drive motors. Ooh, they have the BBS HD, a fantastic option. It's clean, it's simple, easy to install. You're gonna notice that mid-drives tend to be a bit more expensive than hub motors. So something to keep in mind. You have to pay for that extra performance and complexity. But the thing, BBS HD, oh, look at that guy on the scooter. Woo! But yeah, the Bafang is a great option. I've even seen some people, due to its popularity, uh, change out the controller on it, squeeze out even more performance. The next best competitor, in my opinion, is CYC. And they just came out, I made a video on this, a dedicated video, check it out. But they just came out with the Photon, which is a very close direct competitor to the Bafang BBS HD. It's almost a carbon copy. I mean, the design is different, the specs are a little bit different, but largely they are direct competitors and a great uh, substitute for one another. But if you're looking for a high-powered mid-drive motor, CYC has a clear advantage here because they have other options that are much more powerful. Their, I think it's the X3 Pro, has a wattage of 5,000 and it's compatible with 72 volt batteries. Yeah, so I think that's all of it. I'll give you guys a quick little recap in case anyone's confused. So going back to hub motors, this is a great option. I think most people would be more than happy with the hub motor. They have the advantage of being simple, low maintenance, and if you go with a high power direct drive option, the, the raw power can compensate for the lack of gearing and give you quite a bit of torque off the line, especially if you go with a, a high voltage uh, motor. Now to give you guys a definitive number here to hopefully use in your calculations, this Bafang geared hub is connected to a 60 volt battery and it's running at 1500 watts. My NV Power direct drive hub motor was 2000 watts with a 72 volt battery. And even without any mechanical advantage, simply due to the extra power, that motor, the NV Power, had more low end torque and more overall power than this geared hub. But to be honest, this system here is awesome for what it is. I'm very happy with it. So if you already have a bike with a geared hub and you just want to squeeze out a little bit extra performance, you can do that with the Phase Runner and it does make for a pretty awesome package. And then when it comes to mid-drive motors, we have Bafang, we have CYC, those are the two main options. And these are reserved for more uh, enthusiasts. Off-road riding, hill climbing. I know the internet loves mid-drive motors, but you do have to be cognizant of the maintenance. So for example, the, the cogs on your back wheel, the gears. For a regular bike, they're not designed to have 2,000 watts of power being run through them, and they wear out pretty fast. Yes, yeah, so that does it. That's my new updated video on the best e-bike conversion kits in 2023. If you guys enjoyed, leave the video a like. It helps to spread it along the YouTube algorithm. Greatly appreciated. If you guys really enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more e-bike related content. I'll see you guys in the next one.